As for the person who says, why don't you speak about what's going on in this place or that place of having parties and having, yeah, akhi, yeah, brother, whatever your name is, Habibi, look me in the face. We follow the Quran and the Sunnah. Wallahi, had the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ not commanded us to keep quiet about the people in charge, Wallahi, we would say whatever the truth commands us to say. The religion of Islam does not allow you to speak out against rulers. And look at America. When we say Islam doesn't allow protests, Islam does not allow riots, you start freaking out and panicking and you say this and that. Look, look, they've looted the whole... There's no right and wrong. If, if, if the police force is not there, everything gets jacked. Uh, rich people, white people, black people, poor people, everybody's looting. You see, Islam is a guide. Islam, the, the one country where you don't have all these fitan is here. And the people who don't realize, they want you to advise their favorite speaker in private, and they want you to advise against the, the rulers publicly. Where the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ teaches the exact opposite. It teaches you that if you want to advise the ruler, Prophet ﷺ said, if one of you has an advice for the ruler, then let him take him on the side and tell him, if he accepts it, accepts it. If he doesn't accept it, you have fulfilled the obligation towards you. You are not allowed in Islam to cause this kind of khuruj. This is what the khawarij. What, what was the khawarij? The first man, Dhul Khuwaisra, was the first one to say to Prophet ﷺ, I'dil, ya Muhammad, I'dil, lam ta'dil. Oh Muhammad, be just, really you weren't just. He actually didn't go against him with a weapon. But he spoke in a public gathering against the Messenger of Allah وسلم, and he called him the dog of the hellfire. Do you want me to please you? Do you want me to become the dog of the hellfire to please you? And do you think that if you were to make a public announcement of this sort, then the ruler of the country was sitting there on his, with his hand waiting for, for, for me or any other speaker to make a video, and he's going to say, Oh, Jazakumullah khair. Okay, let me make the changes right now. How foolish is that? How foolish for you to even make this request? They already know they have scholars that, uh, that advise them, and the scholars advise them according to the sunnah in private. So you are not allowed to tell me to go against the Quran and the Sunnah and Wallahi I will not and no Muslim should. This is not a matter of preference or a matter of fear. It's a matter of submission to Allah. In the same light, I wonder how is it that you want those to be publicized but you want your favorite speaker, celebrity speaker to be advised in private. Ya akhi, at least be consistent. At least be consistent. In our case, there's no consistency because the person is delivering false information to you. I have to publicly, I have to make that public. As for the ruler, I have specific instructions to the Prophet said, Hatta law daraba dharak wa akhada malak. Even if he were to slash you on your back and take your money, give it to him. This is the sunnah of the Prophet. The sad reality is Muslims don't know. He's busy watching Netflix. And he's busy watching uh, Battikha with mango, and he's busy doing uh, whatever. He has no knowledge of Islam. Then he wants to become the mufti of the, the, the whole dunya. Come on Facebook. You love, yani, you know that you can type fast. Khalas, ya Sheikh. Ya Sheikh, please learn. Go read a book about the ruling of uh, the aqeel of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah in regards to the people in charge. When you learn these ayat and ahadith, then you will learn why we behave the way we behave. And we've given lectures about it. But do you watch our lectures? No. Why? Because we don't have 5 million followers. So we must be deviant. We go with the one with the 5 million followers who's misleading you. These are your choices. Our job is to convey the message to you. It's between you and Allah at the end of the day. Wallah al musta'an. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.